Heidi ho my crafty friends. Welcome to the Ladybug Journals. This is Lori and I hope you're having a super crafty day today. We are going to start our work on our little no-sew journal by making some pockets. And we are going to start folding up some pockets that we can put in here. And I'm also going to show you quick and easy little mass make that you can save for all your other journals too. Um, and then uh, we're not going to do a big mass make today. I'm going to only show you um, the how to do the basic fold and then um, we're going to move on to, um, to a little sneak peek I have inside here of how to do a little fold inside. You want to look inside? Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oop, there it is. <laughs> You like that, didn't you? Okay, so let me show you how to make this. We're going to do a library card. And uh, Margaret over at Seven Plaza reminded me, uh, as I was watching her video the other day, thank you, Margaret, um, how quick and easy these are because I always forget about these. I always do the, you know, the more difficult ones that I'm flipping and flopping the paper. And I always forget how easy these are to do. So I thought, well, I'll do these today. Um... And I'll do the other ones maybe another day because I want to get on to the other folds and I can do these as part of my flip outs that I want to do. So what you're going to do, this is what a library pocket looks like in case you're not familiar with them. And um, this cool little pattern here on this paper came from a book called Fix Your Ford. <laughs> and um, I got that little book at a uh, little secondhand store, and it's from the 70s. And um, I just thought it was the coolest little book, so of course I had to buy it. And as you can tell, the fold is fairly simple. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's quick and it's easy. And once you and uh, once you see how to do it once, you're going to be on a roll, and you're going to be able to do you know hundreds of them in like no time at all. Um, and if your paper has a pretty pattern like this, like I'm not even going to decorate this one. I'm going to leave it just like this. I'm not going to do anything to it. Um, you don't even have to decorate it then. Um, but if it has just plain words like this one does, I probably will put a little decoration on it at some point in time. But like this one, I'm not going to do anything to. Okay, so you're going to take your page. Um, and this part is completely up to you. Like my words, I want my words on my page facing up. Okay, so to get them that way, I have to have them laying on the table, laying upside down and pointing me to start with. Okay, so this is the back of the page. Here are my words and they're upside down on the back of the page. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to fold it up and the top of the page I have folded over about a half an inch and all that's going to do is strengthen this page. Um, this page is a little old. It is from the late 60s, early 70s. And it's from a private, um, it's from a book like private, um, private pilots would take an exam from, um, you know, that are maybe flying jets. Um, and my son who works on airplanes looked at it and he just started laughing. He said, mom, we don't do that stuff anymore. So... Um, so you're going to fold the top of it. Now, I could have just used the back and, uh, and then decorated it, you know, in a more floral pattern. And the more I think about it, you know, the more I just might do that because um, this, this doesn't really go in this book. Um, it is not a floral pattern. It would go in my personal journal very well because of the colors, but it doesn't go in this book. So I'm thinking, now that I've said that... I'm going to turn it over. Okay, so now it doesn't matter which way I have it. So I'm going to fold it up. Actually, I think I want to fold it up a little bit more. Um, and you do need to have at least one side straight. It doesn't matter. I just tore it out of the book, as you can see. And this is going to be a big pocket. See how big the pocket's going to be? It's going to be a big one I'm going to be able to fill up. Okay. 
you're going to turn it over. Hold on, here comes some water. I'm still fighting that cough, but it's getting there. You're going to fold over the sides about another half an inch. Okay? And then you're going to fold the other side over about a half an inch. Okay? Now, if your paper, paper is really brittle, like if you try to fold it and it's crumbling in your hands, okay, that is not the paper to make this fold with. Put that paper aside and we'll use it for something else, okay? I know you like to use your old vintage papers, but if that paper is crumbling in your hands, don't use it for this fold, okay? Save it for something else and, um, and we'll use it for something else. I have some paper like that and I can't use it for this. Okay, so now we're gonna unfold it. The top edge that we folded down, put it towards you. Unfold it and put it towards you like this. Okay, we're gonna cut off on the bottom section. We're gonna cut off here. We're gonna cut off here. And at the top, that little tiny corner right here, we're gonna cut that out. We're gonna cut that out. Now, let me show you. This little corner where it met, where it met from where I folded this into this, that little corner's coming out. And down here, I'm cutting out up to my fold right here. Right to there. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out up to, up to my fold. And once I get to that area, I'm going to cut out a little tiny triangle. It's a little teeny tiny one, a little baby one. And you'll see when I do the first one, it's a little teeny tiny one. Okay, like that. Okay, so let's cut. So I'm going to cut here. Like this, okay? And make sure you you guys can see what I'm doing. I got a light in my face, but I wanna make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Cause I'm known for doing everything off camera. Okay, can you see that? And it's a dark, dreary day here, so the lighting in my room is terrible today. So I'm going to cut off down here, right down here, and I'm going to cut off down here, okay? And for that, I'm going to use my big scissors. Okay, let's try this again. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we cut up to here. Guess I can back you up a little bit, huh? There we go. Oh my gracious. This silly thing. How about I do it this way? Whoops! <laughs> now you're right up in my eyeballs, aren't you? <laughs> Let me lift you up here. There we go. All right, so we cut up to here. Now we're going to cut out that little notch, remember? And it's just a little tiny one. Just a little teeny tiny one. What we're doing is we're taking out a little bit of bulk for, for these to fold into here, okay? So we're going to do it again on this side. Okay? So we're going to cut this out right here. Oh, 
all the way up to that fold right to there and the reason I'm using my little scissors is I have a little bit more control but if you can do it with your bigger scissors then you go right ahead <clears throat> okay so there's my little notch there's my little notch okay now I'm going to lift you back up a little bit. There you go. Okay. Now, let me get all this scrap off the table here. Okay. Now, remember the top piece that we folded down up here for strength? Now, we're going to... Let me get my cereal bag here. We're going to glue that down. And you can just use your glue stick. I'm just using my Scotch permanent glue stick. <clears throat> And I'm just going to put some glue right across the top of it. Just like that. And these little side wings. Um, you know what? Before I do that, I think I'm going to do some inking. So let me get my ink off my swirly dude. And let me get my... That's not the one. And let me get this. Because I want to go on and ink the top of this. Because we're going to use this as a little flippy dude. <clears throat> I know, I know you all like my little words, don't you? And I know you're thinking, well, why can't you do that after it's folded? Well, because, well, because I didn't think about it. That's why. Okay. All right, so now we can glue this side down. Now, these little wings on the side, now, let me make sure I still have you. Now that you know what we're doing, let me make sure you're still in, still in my camera. Okay, good. Let me make sure we're still recording that I actually hit the button. Okay, we did. I'm in good. I'm in good today. <laughs> I didn't forget anything. All right, so we're going to put glue on each of our little wings. Okay. Yeah. Fold up the bottom. Bring your little wings over. Glue them down. Okay. There's your little pocket. Now, a big one like this, are you thinking what I'm thinking? We've got a nice little envelope. Thank you, Margaret. Just like that. And, because... And I got glue all over it. Good golly gracious. And because I want to use it as a little flip, this is the perfect size for our little journal. Look. See? It's the perfect size. So now, let's put this into our journal. So, to do that, let me bring you back in to me here. Okay. And so, what I'm going to do on this is we're going to pick a page. Now, remember, in here, we can, we can take these out. We don't have to work with them in place. I can take them out and work with them. So I just have to decide where I want to put put it. Let's see. Where do we want to put it? This will be the first thing we put in. Um, I'm kind of thinking I want to put it... I want to put it back on one of these... But I love putting envelopes, like, right in the middle of things. I just love doing that. It's so much fun. But I really want to go on and glue this 
to this to kind of strengthen it up. What's over here on the other side of it? Let's find it here. It's over here. Is it? You know what? Let's go on and do that so it can dry. Let's take this page out. Up oh, there's our first page. Ah, I'm so excited, you guys. Right here. And it's got a crease. Uh, let me get my... Here's my bone folder. So we need to go on and make our crease. Make sure everything's together. Because once we get glue on it, it's not going to want to... Oh, good heavens. Good heavens, Lori. Okay, now, the one thing we have to remember is no glue in the middle at our crease, okay? So, let's get our cereal bag. And yes, I said cereal bag. You guys aren't hearing things. What I do is I take cereal bags out when I finish eating my life cereal. I wash them out, hang them up to dry, and that's what I use the glue on. Actually, that's what I use the ink on. It's what I use to paint on. Um, to ink on. Um, the only thing I don't use these for <coughs> is when um, is when I emboss because of the heat. That's that's the only time I don't use them. Um, and I have several of them. So anytime my sister comes down and she says, uh, let's go play in your craft room, we get these out. Or my little niece comes down and she wants to play, out come the cereal bags. Okay, so I've got glue on it. And I'm going to fold it over and it is stuck to my fingers. And I know, I glued the whole thing. Don't panic. I did it on purpose. I wanted to strengthen this this red piece of cardstock. Because it's just the, the strength of a um, piece of copy paper. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Because I want to make it a full pocket. And when I put it back in, I'm going to use that copy paper to make the other side of my pocket. And I didn't want, I didn't want this to be really weak. Okay. Because they can get really weak. Especially when you're tugging on them. Okay. Now, we're not going to be able to do anything with this, like um, punching our thumb notch or doing anything like that until this glue dries. So you guys remember that, right? You don't do anything that has wet glue until it dries. We can't trim it down. We can't thumb notch it. You can't ink it. You can't do anything to it. Until the glue dries. We can't even put it back in the journal. Okay? We have to leave it alone. So, this has to sit until the glue is completely dry. So, I'm going to put it... You know what? I'm going to put it over here. Out of my hand's reach. Because otherwise I'm going to reach and want to play with it. Okay. Let me put my scissors over here out of the way. Let me put my baby scissors back in my swirly gig. All right, that takes care of that first page. Ah, are you all as excited as I am? Okay, let's take out our pink page right here. Okay, this pink page was the last page. So, you know what? I think I want to put our flip-out envelope on this side. Here comes it again. <coughs> I'm so sorry, you guys. Let's see, it doesn't fit that way. But it would fit that way. Let's see. Could we put it... All right. Let's maneuver it here. Let's see. Can 
we could put it here. Okay, let's do that. So what I have, you know what? Let's get a piece of book page. Ouch, just smacked my head on the light. Good gracious. Let's find a piece of book page. Okay, I have another piece of book page out. Yeah, that's the same color. So, let me cut off a piece of it. Now, probably the best way to make a flip, okay? I didn't say whip, like a, like a doll whip, you know, a food. You know what, maybe... No, because that's going to be against the inside. You know what? Maybe we should put it over here. No, it's still on the outside. So this side will be okay. Now, see? I'm out of, I'm out of your view again, aren't I? How about I move this this way? Since this is where I'm working. How's that? Okay. Cut you a piece of paper that's at least an inch in width. Okay, mine's, mine's way more than an inch. I got a little hog wild and pig crazy here. Mine's two inches. <clears throat> and then you fold it in half. Okay. Okay, you just fold it in half. That's all you do. And then you cut it the length of whatever it is that you're attaching it to. Okay, so I need to have it the length of my envelope. Where's my pencil here? And I'm just showing you the Lori method of, of measuring because I hate to measure. Okay, so I need to cut on the inside of this line. Okay. Let's put that in there. And this is going to go... Now, how are we going to do this? Now, what I do is I, I visualize it. I'm, I'm visual, so I'll put my fingers on it, but your edge, your folded edge, right here, has to go against the edge of your paper, okay? So the folded edge of what we just did, of this piece, has to go against, against here, like this, and then the folded edge of your envelope has to go against it also. So it's gonna meet up like this. See, it's gonna look like that. And it's gonna sit, well, it's gonna sit wherever you want it. But I, I would center it, which I think is what I'm gonna do. Okay, and then I'll hold on to it, or I might even paper clip it. Yeah, you're going to see my big old head. Um, I might even paper clip it for a minute just to see, because I'm going to do a pretend flip and see how it's going to look. Okay, it's going to go that way. Okay, that'll work. So... So now I need to decide, do I want to decorate it first, or do I want to wait until I get it in here? Um, I think I want to wait and decorate it after I get it in here. Um, because I don't know what I'm going to put on the page that's across from it. So I think that's what I want to do. I just want to add it 
and then decorate it after I get it in there. Maybe. Or do I want to go on and do it? Huh. Maybe I want to go on and do it. Let's go on and do it. So, I have these little, they're called manuscript ciphered text. And they're little punch thingy, hickey thingies. They're just little, you know, those little, like, three by five things that somebody ran through the a cutter. One of those um, things like, I don't know, Cricut, Gemini, those things, you know, to give you those pretty edges. And they're very pretty. All of them are very pretty. They were not what I was expecting when I ordered them. So not what I was expecting. Um, but they're very pretty. So I'm thinking I might. Is that going to fit? Or do I need the smaller one? There's several different sizes and patterns. See, like that one's got a heart. This one's, that one's got flowers. This one's kind of lacy, like a, it reminds me of a gate pattern. This one's kind of, um, lacy with the little squigglies on it and the papers are really they're really pretty papers this one's got the flowers with the little hearts in between them um, and that one's really pretty too huh Let's, let's see if this one, and then maybe, I don't think I like that one. I do think I like that one, though. But I don't think I like this white paper. Maybe, ah, wait, 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 this one. Ah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. That little splotch reminds me of a chicken. That one. Oh, here's a flower. That reminds me of the flowers on the front of our book. Right there. Now, you know what? We, done, we don't have to add this. We could put this in the pocket in the front of our book. Where's, here's the other one. And I could cut that to fit and go all the way across, but I really don't want to cut that flower. Do I want to put that? And I don't want to do that either. That looks kind of silly. Huh. I guess they're not going to work. Okay. Well. Okay, so they're not going to work. Maybe we need to cover it with paper. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we need to cover it with a pretty paper. Maybe that would make me happy. You know, it's kind of hard when you just don't know what you want. That's why I wasn't sure what to do with it. Because I can always come back in after I see what I do on other pages and then decorate it once I get inspired. Let's see. Let's see what we have sitting in here. Let's see what we have in here. These, oh, those aren't big enough. Oh, here's some bigger ones. Maybe one of these bigger ones. Yeah, they're not big enough either. 
Oh, but that's pretty on that against that pink. Maybe we should collage it. But I just got an idea for this side, though. See how that works? See how my brain goes a little funky crazy? Let's see, where are the big ones at? I think these might be the big ones. These were made from a master board. And sometimes I go a little, I'll get a little crazy. There's our little fold. Let's see, what could we put up there? Oh, what about some music or some, or that might be too white. I think that's too white. But here's some yellow to go against the yellow. I don't think I like that. Let's see about these smaller master boards. But I do know what I want to do over here on this pink. I want to put a tuck. And right there's the one I'm looking for. <clears throat> right there. Need your corner. Oh, it is rounded. Okay. This. Oh. Right there. Okay. So right here. And where's my glue? All right, glue. Come here. This is going to be a tuck. And if I could reach my stamps, I'd stamp on this page. But since I can't reach them right now, I can't stamp it. I can't do any stamping on my page. But I can do this. Because my stamps are on the other side of the room. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear me rummaging around. So we'll do that in our next video. We'll get to some out some stamps. All right. I do not like that. <laughs> nope. It just is too purple for that. It's just too purple. I tell you, it's just too purple. Nope. See, I thought I had it all figured out, you guys. I just thought I did. Oh, maybe that one. Is that is that too long? It is too long. But I like those roses. I just want a tuck on this page. I just want a nice, simple tuck. From my master board. Oh, the green would be pretty, wouldn't it? Oh, that would be kind of pretty. And we could layer it. Ooh, let's do that. How about that? Let's do that. Let's layer it. You guys didn't know you were <laughs> you were watching you were watching someone who goes off on tangents, did you? Okay, so we're gonna put that one there. Hold on, envelope. We're coming back to you, buddy. We're going to put that one there. 
I told you, I just have to get inspired. Oh my gosh, look at these little guys. Forget you. We're going to put them there. <laughs> oh, they're too big. All right, well, they're getting trimmed. Because, by golly, Willikers, those little guys are going on there. Because they're the cutest little things I think I've ever seen. All right, let's see how much we got to trim them. Where's our fold here? And they're going to be a pocket. Oh, just a smidge. Just a wee smidge is all we have to take off. It's only going to trim a branch. Trees always need their branches trimmed. Yeah, trees always need their branches trimmed. See, you'll never miss it. Nobody will ever know. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay, so we're going to make these little guys a pocket. Oh my gosh, you guys are so stinking cute. All right, let's ink up this side that we just trimmed. All right, little guys. Let's see if they fit on our envelope. No, they don't look as cute there. They're just so stinking adorable there. I can't stand it. Would they look cuter over here on another page? I know you can't see what I'm looking at. Let's see. Would they look cuter on another page? You know what? I think they'd look cuter there. I think they would. And then I have some tree stamps we could stick. Uh, tree stamp we could stamp. Oh my gosh, they're so stinking cute. Okay. Let's see, where's the top? I think they'll be cuter there. Uh, all right. I know, I'm off on a tangent again, aren't I? And I forgot to put the cap on my glue. Hold on. Let's see if we can get her flowing. I seem to have that problem these days. Come on, glue. Okay, well, we haven't got our flip made, have we? Okay, but we did get a pocket put in. All right, let's get our flip made. All right, now where did our flip go? <laughs> it's somewhere here on the table. There it is. All right, let's get our flip made. Okay, so here's the, here's the folded edge. Yep, I've got squirrel brain today, you guys. I have got squirrel brain. I think it's the rain. Okay. Folded edge against folded edge. Line it up. Oh, no. There we go. And then put it, and I didn't do it very straight, did I? Let's get it before the glue dries. See if I can straighten it up here. Good heavens. Good heavens. Good 
thing I'm not a heavy gluer. Let's try this again. That's better. My gracious. Okay. That's the flap to our envelope. That's our flip. This part, here's the flip, gets glued to our page. Okay. Now you don't want to glue your you don't want to glue your flip closed. And it's okay that it's going to show on the page because you can always cover it up with whatever you put under this, okay? So don't panic about it. So line it up to the edge and then push it down. Okay, now let me close my glue. There's your flip. Now, you can put anything you want under here, anything at all. You can, you can cover this page in a different color. So say you want to cover that page, because remember, it's not against this page. Say I want to cover this page in this color. Or just in a piece of coffee dyed paper. I want to move this page completely in our book. I can. Um, I can put maybe this color in it. I can put it, I can cover it in a book page. I can cover it in a book page. Um, I can cover this page any way I choose. And it'll cover that up. Okay. And then that'll flip down on top of it. And then inside. Inside here, you can fill it with fun little pieces of ephemera that um, you can use to decorate all around your journal. Um, I put stuff in it and then all of a sudden, whenever I find them, it's like, ooh, look what I found. Sometimes I'll cut off pieces of ribbon um, I'll cut off pieces of washi tape and I'll wrap and I'll put them on, um, ooh, those birds look fun. I'll cut off, um, pieces of washi tape and I'll put them on, um, what is that called? You know, the clear, uh, stretchy stuff. I'll put it on that and I'll put that in there. Um, just something fun, you know, like that. And then when I find it, it's like, oh, I can use that to decorate this page. So, you know, just something fun like that. And then in our little boy pockets, when these dry, and I'll wait, you know, for tomorrow for this to dry. And then next time we see each other, we can put something in there. So, that's all for today. <laughs> I know you're thinking, thank goodness. Um... Thank you for joining me at the Ladybug Journals in all of our chaos. We got two pages done today. Plus, you learned how to make some really cool pockets that now you can have fun creating. So we got a lot done today, didn't we? Um, next time we're together, we'll learn another new pocket. <coughs> oh, here it comes again. Hold on. <coughs> The next time we're together, we'll learn another new pocket and we'll decorate another page. So I hope you have a super duper day and you come back to see me. And don't forget, if you enjoyed today's uh, silliness and craziness, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I appreciate you coming to see me. I hope you have a super, super day wherever you are. And you get to spend some time playing with your papers. Bye for now.